Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Gianna. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the We Watch, Watch It All, all podcast. podcast. Where we watch it all and give you our opinions. AKA the opinions no one ever asked for. And that's the wrong podcast. That's I said not... we watch it all. No, we're not talking about your ear on this podcast. Oh, I just ripped the whole thing of skin out of my upper inner ear. And both maybe discuss that on the We Talk About It All podcast. I didn't mean that for that. I just said we have, look, we have a little topic now. <laughs> no. This topic is Crappy Lake, though. Yes. And I, I only have... episode six? I, 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 I feel she didn't so, take any notes. I she feel, just, and she wrote crappies. She didn't even write crappy lake. She wrote crappies. <laughs> oh, crappies. I have seven bullet points. I'm not really sure what happened here. I'm hoping I can elaborate a little bit better than... I have ten. Wow. Okay, so let's carry it, will you, please? Where did it start? Oh, <laughs> no, my I'm just God. kidding. I know where it started. I know where it started. I know where it started. I know. Uh, also, there's only eight episodes. And we're on what, you think? I think six. So it basically starts with Luann and Sonia upgrading the motel, motel again. which I didn't realize they were even doing that, but it does make good sense in, I don't think it was one of the things on their list to do, but I think it was one of the things they chose to do, yeah. like the lemonade stand and stuff like that. I think this is, is kind of smart. Yeah. My thing, I was like, why a hot tub and not like one of those like blow up pools that you can get from like the store? Cause I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe listen, you guys could correct if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming in Illinois it snows, so like, what are you gonna do in the um, winter? Yeah, right. Like I don't. Well, like I know could, you can cover it. Yeah, you like, cover I don't know them if over. It would be, I guess so. I don't know. I just like a blow up one. Maybe they be a are little meant, bit bigger. They are families. meant. Well, they are meant to be outside, but I guess it's more like. You know, I guess like little kids could sit. At, you, they don't recommend little kids being in jacuzzis either, but. I guess That's they just, like, just were thinking just, it's the easiest added attraction because one of those little blow up things would look cheesy. I guess it so could. So I guess you know you. I don't know. I thought I, I don't know. I was just like man. Cooper just snored. He's bored already, and we're not even like he's asleep. Like he's barely minutes. Moving in. his paws is the slowest thing. He's and eating he, a big meal. He's ready to go. To sleep, yeah, which uh, that's what I'm preparing for. Yeah, big meal. Sissy, big meal. Oh, also, also, we should have done this earlier. The fire alarm may go off. We got a scheduled maintenance, which we just found about now, and that was supposed to be happening from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And, and it's, it's five. five. It's and nice. it just went off as soon as we were like, okay, let's press record. Beep. I don't know. The lights are off now, so who knows? Just want to give a heads up in case you hear beep and cut. The mic just cuts out of nowhere. That would be what that is. Yeah. All right. Let's go, though. Sorry. So they do order a hot tub for the motel, and they decide that they're going to redo the motel. So they're sitting in the hot tub once they get it all squared away, and they're trying to fill it up, I guess, and they're, like, squirting each other. They are just... I don't even know what to say about the two of them sometimes. It's just priceless. Yeah. They're asking, do they have to rinse out the hot tub? And what do they have to do to Is keep... Is the water okay to fill it up the water? Yeah, like, I don't know. I guess... I mean, I get that. Cause no, like, but, like, where do they think they are in... in What's that movie with Julia Roberts where they the kids were swimming in the pools with, like, contaminated water? I, I mean, know. is that where she thinks she is? It's that it's it's Erica's husband, Girardi. He's the lawyer that won this humongous law. It's a big movie. What was it called? Erin Brockovich. She's a, a aide, not really, but she's not really like an aid aide. But she goes and helps all these people in this town create this the biggest lawsuit, like I think in history, in the United oh, States. And know. he's the one. He's one of the main lawyers. That's how he became his claim to fame. Is from being a lawyer that made all this money. Oh, so it's yeah. But they they come to find out that the, the women had cancer and the children were born with defects and this and that. And it's because of the water in the town that they were dumping in the water or something. Oh. That was flowing into their pools, their showers. Yeah. So they were constantly being contaminated. But I, I when I heard that, I was like, okay, is she what does she think this is? Well, I'm not going to lie. I just showered today and New Jersey shower water, I guess our water, gets in my eyes and it burns a little bit. <laughs> and that could be the chemicals they're using to kill off whatever's in the water. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was in there and I'm like, I don't even have soap in my hair. What's going on? I'm like, oh, because I just got the water could in my eyes. over those uh, stuff in your hair. Like from. It was like, before, I don't know, before I even really, like, it was just no, no, straight. No, no, I know. I don't know. Either way, it hurt. Okay. Well, it was, I mean, I know it was just. Ears, nose, I mean, ears, eyes. We're going to probably cover nose next on her. Don't worry about it. Mouth, tooth hurt yesterday. Okay. Stay focused. We Nose was clogged today. So there we I go. I told you. Hopefully we're done. So Luann brings her brother in, which was Rolled like, him whoa. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't know she had a brother. Like, I feel like I knew, I but like I feel like I knew, but I didn't know they were like, oh, I think she has said that she's close with her brother. Yeah, but I didn't, 
I was not expecting. He was a in the middle cameo. of vacation, apparently, in and Canada. In Canada, and they just roped him in all of a sudden to help and continue ro- renovating the motels. Well, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, if they're gonna renovate the motel, because that's what I thought at first, like motel. I'm mean, like, really, just one guy? You're just bringing your like? Don't you want a team? Doesn't he have a team? Isn't he in construction or I don't know? So Sonia and Luann decide that they're going to just redo their rooms. Yeah, like make them like suites, like yeah. tourist attractions. Like yeah, like so the, it's gonna be like the Sonia suite, the Luann suite, whatever they're gonna call it. She called it the chic, chicish suite or something. Hers. She was like they were coming. They didn't actually say what the names are. Maybe when they reveal them, yeah, they'll probably. say like you know what the name is, and they'll put like maybe their, their picture on the door. I Stop, know that'd be so funny. Like, you know how sometimes they have like pictures oh, of like Jesus with something. a cross in the room? I mean, like I think, they just have I mean, like I them. think on the, the uh, what are those bed stands? They should have the pic, like one picture of Sonia on one ta- one bed table and Luann on the other. That would be so funny. You know, they are Jesus-esque. I mean, they're... I mean, doesn't Luann have those candles with her face of Jesus on them? She I'm could just sure. leave one of them. I know. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I'm there sure Sonia, I'm sure Sonia could get one whipped up very quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she has it, but it's very weird because, like, I feel like this goes from, like, one... They covered a lot of bases, a lot of places, is what I should yeah. say. And that's traveling. what I think a lot of my problem is. It's, like, here, there, like, the brother comes in, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like, they're changed in clothes, and they're off to the shelter to see, like, what went on yeah. with the fencing, because we have to follow up with that. They had already adoptions, so... I, well, or they were they held some stuff. I don't think anybody got really adopted because they kept saying, "Oh, the first one's getting adopted now." But yeah, I, I think don't know. they had the animals out and like they were utilizing the fences. Yeah, and the mayor was there with his wife, and she was there under a tent. They're you know selling little tchotchkes or whatever to raise money, I guess, for the shelter. But the girls um, were that run it were very happy. But when they saw them pull up, clearly not dressed for any kind of shelter work. Yeah, they were like, uh, yeah, they were like, yeah, I guess they're not really working today. today they're just. No. They're just here. But they, you know what? The funny thing is, you could say that about them, but they were getting down and dirty running around with dogs on leashes yeah. and stuff. So you can't I was, really I was, say I that was about them. I was waiting for that one dog to take Luann down. I thought it was going to, too. Also, I'm not going to lie. on the way there, they actually, you know, I've been asking for the Sonia voicing the Waze directions. They actually name dropped Waze this time. Like, usually they've been just saying, oh, let me get the directions. I'll get the directions. Pull the directions up on your phone. She was like, all right, yeah, I'll get the directions up on Waze. Like, we're really setting this up here. Let's get the Sonia. Maybe, maybe. Come on, oh, that would be great. I'm the telling you, I know. I said that. I said that that we should do that from the start when she was giving the way in directions. But now you name dropped ways. You know, you're kind of the dots are connecting. But I don't think they're gonna connect to anything. But you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep saying it in case it happens because then it's my idea. They're very proud of themselves of what they're doing at the shelter. I hope they do adopt a lot. I hope a lot of the dogs get adopted. It's yeah. always easier when you don't when. When you don't have them in those cages like that. I saw dogs like that one time, and it is... Mm-mm. That's overwhelming. It's, yeah. And I don't feel you can see an animal in their true form either, because even for us, when we adopted our first cat that was a rescue, she was in one of those little cages that you see them in, you know, yeah. that look like little I don't know, bookshelves or whatever you want to call them. But, like, she was so different, and they said she was going to be one way. She was like, so different when she was, like, free and out. and the, I mean, she was the only cat, so she had the rule of the house but it was very different so yeah. it's it's nice that they did that for them so that was something that they were supposed to help with though the shelter was one of the things yeah. they were supposed to All but right, now so, it's like so now one and one you can take the uh dogs out there too like you know like how like some pet places have like the little rooms you can go and sit in yeah i think like, that's, now you could take them yeah, outside i think that's supposed be better, to be like the premise then you could be like how do they walk on a leash that's well important. that is a good thing you and and also not for nothing but you want to see if the person can handle the dog because that's a big thing where we live in our state you have to like go it's a rigorous like adoption yeah. process like you have to fill out applications well, like if and you go to like, references the store and, stuff and like yeah that. they they it's a whole big thing they don't just like oh you want them kittens sure take them no it's not really like that so I mean, far ours gone, were, but, all of them well yeah these two were but that was but we they, said that yeah but they also came special. from a vet that knew us and knew how we handled pets and how we treated yeah. them so like we kind of already did that and you already know they're living high on the hog oh my here, god please. So please more money has been spent on them than we could ever we discuss can't see that it's embarrassing oh. he woke up and didn't like to see he get he I think he feels a little shame. I don't think he does, actually. I'm lying. Don't I'm lying be- on his behalf. So now they end up at the convention center, and Bill is there with Courtney Cox. No, not Courtney Cox of the French show. Who knows, though? It could be because of the sneak preview. That actually could be Courtney Cox in disguise. 
the sneak preview. Serious? No, because they're pulling big celebrities out in the sneak preview. We won't say yet who was in the sneak preview, but that could be actually Courtney Cox. Like that's Courtney Cox, and she needs a lot like, of help. No, and she's gonna pull the mask off like Scooby Doo style, and they're like, "Oh my God, it's Courtney Cox from Friends." That's the second time somebody's referenced Scooby Doo style. Like today for you? In, in the last two days. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Scooby, what's up with you? <laughs> See, you can't sidetrack me because then I go and I don't come back. So they are also, they all have fun with his name. And he, he basically says that she owes him money for the use of his name. And I'm like, okay, whatever, sir. That's you. You go after that funnage and get that money. But then the best thing happens, to be honest with you. They decide that they need to have a song for them two to sing at yeah. the Follies. And... You know, it's a tough thing because Luann is, according to her, a songwriter, and they put up her credits. Yeah, you they did. They listed. Credits. They listed. You know, all the songs, and no, oh, it's not just a fly by the seat of her pants kind of gal. And you know, I mean, Luann said that, like, you know, she just kind of improvises and throws Sonya it together. And could freestyle on the spot. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think that's what was going on here. Oh, okay. Tamra Judd, always, always got to take a spell by. I, I don't know if that's what was going on, but Courtney was brought in to help them, I guess. Like arrange the song, like yeah. music and that part. Yeah, so Bill basically said they need a lot of help. Yeah. They should come together before. They should have came together and figured out how to work musically together or something. I forget what his verbiage was, but it was basically like they don't know what they're doing. They're in two different keys. Yeah. Two different paces as well as singing. But I did notice something pretty important in this scene. What? Me and Sonya have the same phone oh, yeah. case. Which was bought from Walmart. But. Which you discovered. I discovered. I, I just like randomly. I was like, let me look at Benton on the map. And I look and right outside their airport. It's technically not in Benton. It's like right on the line. There's a super Walmart. Where did I get my phone case from? Walmart. So we have matching Walmart cases. I don't know if she got off that plane and Luann did a quick pit stop to the Walmart and got her a new case or if she came with that case, but I just noticed it now. She could have had it the whole time, but just sharing that. Something yeah. fun. A little fun Easter egg. Real life Easter egg. So the only thing that like we were saying though is that like you said, we obviously the Walmart is not like it's right on the outskirts of the town, but that could be the only place that you could build such a huge spot. I'm not gonna lie, it was the only like chain store i saw around this whole town everything else when you zoom in are like very like small they're like benton motors benton this like they're all small businesses within this town that's, that's what the i'm saying chain. it is nice that they have the small businesses but they do have access to the big stuff oh yeah so it's like they are making it sound like they got nothing they do have access to like yeah i mean i didn't keep like going around to see how far other things were i don't know how far it was i tried to look for the park on the map but i couldn't find it i found the park the other park that they talked about that they had and I tried to find it on the other side of town, but I couldn't look, and I didn't look that hard. I was, was working on the other podcast. But you also said the town isn't that small. It kind of is. It's, oh, like, it long. Oh, uh, okay. It's more of, like, a long, thin town, so maybe it's, like, that. It is weirdly cut, though, like, in, like... I'll have to look. Yeah, I'll have to look at it a little bit better, but I did. I was like, oh, interesting. So they, they come up with the lyrics, and they're just in their own little world, because I don't know if you listen to Sonia, like, Sonia's trying to come up with like she was singing the words as she's coming along and bill keeps saying well you gotta you gotta give him a minute or no 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 no, he's following me i'm sorry cooper he's following along look he's he's and she just kept singing the song like while he was trying to play like music or something and to me i'm sorry but it sounded like the music to the song fever and it had that back like the way they were singing all it was like you give me fever when you kiss me like that old fashioned song and like if you listen to it closely like you could hear it was like dun, dun, dun. i'm like oh i hope they're not doing copyright that. strike i hope not but that's where it sounded like they were leaning towards and then magically we're done and they're like so we're gonna go and work on the lyrics and you go and work on the music and then we'll come back together and we'll both yeah. put it together and we're like wait what how do you do that like how is he working on... Well, I don't know if he was... I think they said, we'll each, like, work on, like... I think he was going to come up with lyrics as well. Like, they're each going to, I don't like, know. I, I don't think know. he was supposed to be... I mean, he, be don't worry, he can come up with the music and you can put it together. But I just thought that was just, like... Listen, they were pacing that song, each of them, at different things. So they could just go to whatever, you know, he ends up giving yeah. them. So we do find out she get... They get back to that hotel and they do decide that they're going to break down her room, Sonia's room and Luann's room, and they're going to, like, fix the sink vanity area because I guess that's, like, their main thing yeah. to make it more their aesthetic and their style and make it more, like, you know, appealing to people, new carpet. I'm assuming they're going to paint. 
So, which is weird because these two rooms are going to be like stellar and everybody's going to want to stay in these two rooms and who's going to want to stay in the other ones? Well, obviously, but maybe though, it'll spur them to raise money so that they can redo yeah, the other rooms. Yeah, maybe they can you use know. the extra money to, yeah, upgrade the motel. These are Luann and, and Sonia inspired rooms. You can actually get the ones designed by them or you can get the inspired ones, like maybe the other rooms they can, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, like be there inspired. Like a knockoff. Yeah, they're the knockoff. They actually The discount. Know- Imagine they start branching out and they like make like housewife inspired rooms. Like you end up like having I mean, like a if, Lisa Rena room if and they were room. smart. That would be kind of. I like, mean, or even if you just kept the New York one, it just becomes the housewives motel instead. They like rename and they go for a whole rebrand. I know that they. Ha- I have seen people t- people taking pictures with the su- Benton Motel sign saying Sonia and Luann were here or you have crappy lake was filmed or something. Yeah, it was. They I've seen it. Like someone took a picture. With the sign, and it said it had some like connotation that the show was there. I mean, knock yourself out. Why wouldn't you? I mean, obviously they're making these rooms to attract people yeah. to come and see the motel. To boost if tourism. Was, look, if I was in that area and I wasn't freaked out by motel, motels in general, yeah, I would go. I wouldn't. I would go, but I probably wouldn't stay. <laughs> I just don't. Motels like half the price. Out. Can I just look in the room? <laughs> Can I just? day shop so they yeah they figured they could charge more room for these suites and that would help them bring tourism in and so that's great so our brother starts breaking down the it's weird because it looks like it's part at one moment it looked like it was daytime but then it looks like it's like almost evening and he's like busting down walls and she's cutting it with a miter saw and he's ripping out like sinks that have like just the most amount of like dust and stuff behind it that you're like dag i mean not that he could have cleaned it behind it but it was like How'd that even get back there? I, don't, I have no... I, it's baffling to me. As a clean freak, she can't figure it out. Meanwhile, you got these two over here. She's covering her shoes, Luann. And the other one is splish splash and taking a tubby. <laughs> Finally, she's fine. And we said she was... You said you said she was going to get in that tub. Oh, she I... She got yeah, it. Yeah, there's no doubt. And made a damn mess. Now they're going to have to rip the bathroom up for like moldy well, floors. Well, yeah, because she was... I don't really understand what she was doing, but she had like, was it one foot in or two foot in or just her hands or she was like splashing the water about her foot. Like, and then I think she was like, maybe she was trying to get the bubbles off. I, I don't no really idea. know. I could She was tell making you. a damn mess and all you could see was water was everywhere. One thing we didn't get to mention though, because we kind of jumped right to them working, was when they went to get the tools, Sonia in the, she went to go pick up tools from one of, I can't remember who it was, Bill? Hmm. I don't know. She said she thought that's who was going to be working there, but she went to go pick up tools. Ben? ben? Something okay. with a B. It's a B in a short letter name. I think it was Ben. But she went to go pick up the tools there, and she's like, oh, I'm getting itchy everywhere. And I'm... Yeah, I, this I was... Assume, I'm going with the... I think she was chafing. Based on the place that she was saying she was itchy, it was like, I think you were just having a little, like, chafing. <laughs> she she started... I mean, until she got to the ears, but I my ear was itchy, and I just pulled out all that skin out of it, so... Oh, my God. I think she's I just walking, chafed. She's walking around, and it's a dusty garage, let's be honest. And Ben, I think it is, was behind the door because he was COVID-ridden. So he was supposed to come and help, apparently, or at least, yeah. like, bring the tools and stuff. So I guess the brother felt like with the help of maybe the motel owner Luann and Sonia he could get this done and I mean it seems like he was striving right along yeah. but she's walking around looking for things for tools and she did have a dress on I'm not gonna lie whether or not she had underwear on we have no way of knowing and thank god I think for that. we can just always assume no with, with <sighs> Sonia but she is digging deep in her hunani in the back with that dress and we're like, what? And she keeps talking about, I'm, she actually said out loud, I think to the men folk that were there, I'm going to have to get out of here because I'm starting to break out under the bra, in the ears, in, I think she went in her from, hooch. In her, yeah. I'm like, oh. In her butt. Yeah. I'm like, I, But oh. I'm starting, I'm like, maybe she was chafing. I think based. she was sweating and I think she was, yeah. Chafe. Based on the fact that she was like under the boobs. boobs. Yeah. Like, she was named in places. Yeah. I don't really know what the ear had to do with anything, but. You it, know, sometimes you know. when you just get itchy everywhere, you just kind of start going. Well, my ears do start to ring sometimes when I get like that and like, then I want to like. Like, you know, shake them. I don't know. I just felt like we had to mention that because I was like, well, I think she's just chafing, but she's like over here, like I'm having like... Oh a- yeah, I forgot that they did go get the tools first yeah. and then they went into the rooms because when they get to her room, she is just offering jello shots to the brother <laughs> and he's like, wow, you got all the comforts of and luxuries of, you know, a real resort in here. And I mean, it was a jello shot in one of those little cups that I have from work that you put your condiments in and put a little lid on. 
And she's great, making cr- do. I'm just curious. No, they're great ideas because they have lids on them and you can transport them, of I'm course. I'm just curious, when did she make these? Or where did she get them from? Where Was it from the happy hour, the crappy hour? Oh, like leftover ones? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe they like made stuff for that. Yeah, like, They just didn't show that. That could be. I mean, we all know that's what goes on here 90% of the time. So, yeah, it could just be as simple as that. Sonia and Luann show up at the Benton Follies again. Here we go. Back they, to it. Yeah. They One like, episode off and here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Like, they're, they kind of leave, it seems like they leave the brother there to tend to whatever. Like, and, finish. Yeah, and they get dressed, and off they go back to the Benton Follies to do, like, the dress rehearsal. Yeah. What a skit and a half. Because they are dressed like, I don't know who, because Luann has this, like, short blonde bob Which, wig with a... Uh, did she like, get that from, what's her face, Suze? I'm hoping it's from Suze. But I'm, I'm hoping Cause not, because it didn't look like that. Compared to Suze's it, other wigs... Mm-hmm. That was definitely a little bit of a letdown. Maybe it was the cheaper versions. I don't know. But she was like dressed in black leather, black motorcycle cap kind of thing, a little it, chain around the neck. It was very... It was like she gave herself like a whole new persona. Well, the funny thing is like Sonia kept saying, who does she think she's Simon Cowell? I mean, yeah, in a certain respect, yeah, she was a little bit dressed like him with the leather jacket and the... Isn't Simon Cowell just for like blue jeans and a white shirt? I think he wears a black leather jacket sometimes or... A, I, I don't know, but it's... I, needless to say... It wasn't a very good look on her. It looked very costumey. I don't know where she was going with this, but somebody gave her a mic and she was gonna run with it. Yeah, nobody's mic on the stage was working, but Luann's did not was. stop. They were like, mic her up and keep it loud because she. And, and she's then like, could somebody just bring a mic stand? I didn't want to keep. And then the worst this. part was they were eating food like while they were watching this or something. So like Sonia was a little bit distracted, but she was kind of watching and. But like Luann was really trying to give stage direction. Like, yeah. in her defense, like, she really wanted it to look proper and right. And, like, like flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she was trying to tell them, like, you know, don't come out until the music starts and don't do this. And, you know, this looks a little, like, too much and cluttered and you can't make, mis- you got to be, make sure you're on point. It was a bit much. It was a bit much. Because yeah. I think it was rapid fire. And Sonia was, like, starting to lose it. Because she's like, who the hell does she think she is? She tries to give her opinion. And somehow, in the end, she gets Bill to come over to her side but bill has no idea she's like and that's the point where bill's mic stopped working too yeah and he's just like i don't know Uh, it was just another then luann throws a potato at like well she must have gave her a potato or something at some stage of the game and she goes here you want your potato back and she like threw it in her threw it in like the takeout container it was weird and it's and like made some comment i don't know it was just crazy town usa and for next week she's like we have a big surprise guest and i didn't think they were gonna show it but paula abdul's coming yeah i'm not really like huh I I don't know. What I mean, I thought that was nice that they tried to do stuff like that. No, I know, but it's just a little like to help all the dancing girls. I guess, but I was just kind of like, okay, that's a wild card. Yeah, (laughs) because she's like big surprise. I'm like, does she really think Courtney Cox is going to step out from behind that panel? Which she could, because Courtney Cox has taken piano lessons later in life and plays the piano really well. I used to watch so videos maybe. of her on Instagram. I don't know why, but so she, maybe her, she her, is she in would, a disguise. Well, she would play, and her daughter Coco would sing. So it's very interesting. I'm gonna say is Courtney Cox is under that mask. Okay. Well, it could be interesting to see if she pops herself out. But who knows? Yeah. But again, if you're not watching crappy, I'm not really sure what you're doing with yourself because out of the three shows that we talked about, it's definitely the best. And it's going to be the one that ends the soonest. So that's It's stuff. like a half an hour of just pure delight. Like, who knows yeah. what it is, but it's pure delight. I'm kind of just blind they're already not having them start filming the next thing. Like, get them to another small town. Let's go. I think they would do that in the summertime. Like, get them somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe they want to do, like, a winter thing. I don't know. Who knows? Also, I forgot to mention this, too. I should mention this maybe in the beginning. They moved the New York Legacies girls trip up. Mm. It was supposed to be the one with Brandy, Caroline. I think it was supposed to be another like ex-wives club. I think that's what they said. I think they pushed that back to early 2024. And now New York is coming up first. But people are, there's either two reasons they're doing this to keep going off the hype of the new New York or because and they don't know how they want to. That I too. Mean. Like, yeah. And they don't, or they don't know how to handle this Brandy and Caroline situation. Which it makes me like, what really happened? But I will say, I believe... Hmm. Not Brandy, the other one. Gretchen was filming her sit down, so it's definitely close. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe they just felt they needed more time editing. 
Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of... There's a uh, there's a lot more um, fourth wall editing talk, like where you're like actually involved in a lot of... Like you're hearing a lot more stuff. Like there was something I heard about Ariana not wanting to film with Tom Sandoval. Who's surprised at this? I'm just curious because she, she said it. She said it. She said it at the reunion that if she comes back, she will not be interacting with him and limited interaction with anybody that does interact with him. I think that part has died down a little because I think she's, you know, a little less angry in general, but no one tip- typically keeps in touch with their ex, especially if it was a bad ending. Yeah. So to have to film with him, I don't, they're lucky that they're getting them in the same room together I because don't they're know. saying they're in the same, they, they're in the same room together. She just will not give him the time of day. She doesn't look at him or anything. Yeah, I and don't, she won't speak to him. I don't know how they thought like anything. they wanted them to have like an actual sit down. Oh yeah, I did see something about that. I'm like, good luck with that. If you can't get her what, to talk to him, they already in the same did their room. little talking thing. Like, what else is for her to say to him, really? I don't know, and I don't think he deserves it. No. Like to be honest with you, I I think if it was something where she could just tell him off, but I think she's over that. I think she she's, already did at the reunion. Yeah, and I think that. she's very over that. And I think honestly, he doesn't deserve it. So yeah, they're saying that they don't know what they're gonna do. Like I guess it's becoming very challenging editing wise and filming wise. So yeah. Well, I'm. But I'm, if you didn't know this was gonna happen, come on. And yeah. I'm curious to know what's gonna happen with this Graham storyline with James Kennedy, how he gets his dog. Like that's what yeah, I'm interested yeah, to yeah. see. The dog was seen with her mother. Bit the mom or the dad. It, it bit dead? somebody. Yeah, I think the it bit the dad or she somebody. Was in the rehab center. And that's how, yeah, the dog ended up. So they put it back. But again, like, why didn't the mom call James? Like, I don't she know. seemed like she was friendly. Well, no, that maybe at the end they weren't. But who knows? At, yeah, Either I don't way, know. got the damn dog back, and that's crazy. Yeah, good for him. I mean, that's pure karma. Like, totally coming around yeah. for you in a good way. All right, that's it for this week. Yeah, we'll be back next week. We do these every Thursday. We do Real Housewives in New York on Wednesday, and we do Real Housewives of OC on monday and check out our other podcasts we talk about it all we post every other friday so there'll be a new one this week and we don't even know what we're gonna talk about yet we're just gonna wing it we're kicking some topics around with that hit the button did you say your spiel no oh dear lord we can't get off without the spiel no hopefully you'll leave us a good rating and if you're on youtube give us a thumbs up don't give us a thumbs down so leave a comment telling us how we can improve subscribe follow and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes and now i think that's it hit the button